the Neurocast from Truthsayers. Simon Stapleton continues his conversation with Perry Timms. We started a partnership. We, we mm. started that uh, last year, Perry, and mm. I'm super mm. excited to, to be mm. working with you on that. And I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, we're going to be doing some great stuff together, particularly around change yeah. Yeah. and change readiness and, mm. and really to measure measure the the, the kind of attitude to, towards mm. change mm. Uh, and the, any resistance and nervousness and all that. And of course, you know, change is one of the qu- quite difficult things for a lot of people mm. and everyone changes at their own, their own pace. And I was just yeah. wondering, you know, what do you think that the future holds for us working together? How, how is neurotech going to help mm. you um, with your clients and through those quite, quite thorny changes? Yeah. So I suppose I've got two sort of sporting metaphors in my mind. One is the whole kind of money ball concept, you know, the Oakland athletics and how they selected that team based on statistical, not scout based um, insight, which has always stuck with me as like, what a phenomenal way to take human bias out of a situation by using data. And so uh, what I've recognized is that PTHR is a very sensing and intuitive approach to how it does what it does but it lacks the data and the insight that i think obviously is your bread and butter you know it's yeah. absolutely what you're in the world to do um and then the uh, the second uh, sporting metaphor is quite similar but it is almost like if you are a sporting athlete of either an individual or a team nature how do you really know the impact of what you do beyond just the timing or the amount of passes you make in a particular yeah. game. And, and that comes from perhaps audience sentiment, right? So that's how I'm sort of thinking about it is that what we want to do is we want to get some audience sentiment in our case clients um, to be able to use a tool like yours to say how they really felt and what was crucial to them from a, a very uh, credible source uh, about the impact we had, not just did we save them £10,000 a year, um, but like what was the whole experience like and and where did you sort of get a bit worried and where did you get excited and how did we match expectations and, and deliver the impact? So I think there's definitely something about, you know, the sort of crowd mentality, but perhaps not um, uh, crowd. It might just be like one or two key contacts in a client, but we really want to know what impact we have on people beyond just the work we do, how we are with them, and that kind of thing. Um, and and I, I struggled to even find anybody who could do that. And then when I was on that webinar with you and J Curve, it was like, oh, oh hang on a minute, <laughs> that's what this does. Um, and it was cemented when we had our first conversation. So a couple of wish list type things, I think, is plug yeah. in our data credibility gap, and then also getting more insight about us that's really genuine and really like you know beyond passive survey yeah well why i was really keen to work with you perry is not just because you're you're a great orator in the agile space but because you know you the way you approach delivering solutions to clients is, is you know, as, as you say it's holistic and, and sensing but it's mm. it's about it's about seeing it all the way through now the one thing mm that that as a as a tech platform we don't do is see the solution all the way through we we get the data show the insight but we leave it there but of course there's always the so what after we've got the data and and working with a a, a great organization like yours means that we can and doing it on a partnership basis we can see that all the way through and it's just wonderful to see from our perspective all the ones and zeros we've got in our systems are actually making a real change yeah. for real people in business. I think if anything, I've often looked at organisations that have their own research arm or data analysts and I've like been envious of what, what, what they have within that. And I kind of think, well, I shouldn't be envious because if you find the right people to connect to and partner with, then, then you sort of secure that resource in a mutually beneficial way. And I think actually that's stronger than buying it in. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think there's a really nice fluidity and, and art of the possible with probably everything uh, you've said and more. Um, and I'm sure because we're quite, um, uh, dare I say, unorthodox in our approach, we'll spot some opportunities that maybe others haven't. I think there could be some really exciting new things uh, that we can start to tap into that probably people haven't even thought about yet. Yeah.